the, the big picture idea is, is that we're utilising virtual graphics in the way of what they call augmented graphics. So we're not in a virtual studio as people might be familiar with. What we're using is a really uh, a nice realistic set and we're augmenting that with the graphics keyed over the top. The system behind achieving this type of graphic look, uh, the virtual augmented type graphic, we use, utilise VizRT, which is a system we've used across our business uh, for a number of years, but this is the first time we've brought it into the studio environment. Uh, VizRT renders 3D graphics in real time and has the ability to take 3D positional data from a real camera on set and then replicate that camera move with inside the Viz 3D system. Uh, ultimately, what it achieves is, is the, the sensation that the graphics are actually locked to the floor in the studio and any movement that's made by the cameraman inside the studio is then replicated and you get this sort of effect on the screen you see behind me. So an integral part of that is, is a camera system that can actually send you the data of its position in 3D space. So we're working with a company uh, called Stipe Grip who have provided us with a kit, Stipe kit, that goes onto a standard Stanton Jimmy Crane, delivers us data, a pan, tilt and arm positional data that we can replicate then inside VizRT. So the Stipe kit comes with a couple of additional features that just makes uh, probably the less experienced jib operator look far more professional. Uh, auto aiming feature is fantastic, so it really helps with our operators at the moment to be able to focus on something that doesn't actually exist within the studio space. So we can set a couple of points and then move the jib arm around and it will automatically track those points that we've set previously. So as you can see, a move of the jib arm the, the camera pan and tilt is not being adjusted at all by the operator at the moment and yet it's focusing on the, the value 66% on our graphic. We can move the arm around completely independently as Stipe's demonstrating here and still focus on that focal point, that target. So it, what, it's, what it's doing is it's helping us to, to zoom into these virtual graphics that aren't actually on set and yet still give us a really uh, well tracked result. I think what, what the virtual graphics really allow is a, is a different technique for the presenters to, to present the information they're trying to show. I mean, it gives, us, it gives the viewers better insight, it gives the presenters an, a better opportunity to dyna dynamically interact with the stories they're trying to tell. Uh, for example, the graphic that we've got on the floor at the moment on the screen, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's giving us some detail in, in a far more dynamic way than, than just rolling in some vision or a static graphic that we'd normally relate the information to. So whenever you zoom around the, the graphic, we're replicating that camera movement using the data, the positional data that's being fed through to us, replicating that camera movement within the Viz 3D system and generating these graphics in relation to that camera movement. So the result is the effect that you can see on the screen itself. I think a fantastic thing about what we're trying to achieve here is that uh, everyone from, from the top down in the company is trying to achieve something new and groundbreaking with the new NRL season. Uh, we've been lucky enough to have Paul Slater in, involved who's really been the, the driving force behind the virtual setup. I mean it's pretty exciting for us, really great for us to sink ourselves, our teeth into something really creative, but, uh, but also something really technical that's going to look fairly good on screen. <laughs>